Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I'm standing on the Mount of Beatitudes. We're in northern Israel. We're ported in the port of Haifa today and we're going to explore Nazareth. We're going to explore northern Israel. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure started. We're now walking in the city of Nazareth, of course, the home place of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. And we're headed up to the Church of the Annunciation, and Annunciation, of course, meaning announcement. So we're going to walk up the hill to the church, uh, but really cool this morning to be walking through Nazareth. Our first stop here on our day here in northern Israel. Um, it's it's going to be amazing, all the sights that we're going to see uh, during our probably nine or ten hours in this region of Israel this morning. Of course, the city of Nazareth is very big now, of course, because of its historical prominence uh, and all the things that happened here. And so many people from all around the world come here. It was just a small place, a very small town. But as you look around and see what a big city it is, arguably one of the largest cities in northern Israel, uh, all because of the tourism now, all the people coming here to see sites just like this one. So you see all the artwork around, and there was some inside of the church. There's also some. Uh, right back down here where we first came in earlier, all the countries around the world were invited to send in artwork to decorate around the church. And uh, so they all held contests inside their own countries and they sent in these beautiful pieces of artwork that now adorn both the insides and the outsides of the Church of the Annunciation.
Now we're leaving Nazareth and going to head over to the Sea of Galilee, uh, over to the extreme eastern portion of Israel, uh, and enjoy the afternoon there. So now this is the Sea of Galilee, and geographically, it's a lake. You can actually see the other side of it down there. The Jordan River comes in right over here. Let me zoom in. Right there is where the Jordan River comes in. But we're actually located here in the Rift Valley, the Great Rift Valley, or the Jordan Valley, that runs the extent of the Jordan River uh, from here all the way down past Jerusalem to the Dead Sea to the Egyptian border. Now everything east of here, so everything on the right of your screen, is the Mediterranean and everything to the left over here, which is actually Syria and Jordan. This is all Arabian desert. Now, of course, biblically, the Sea of Galilee was the location of many events. Of course, Jesus walking on the water, Jesus calming the storm, Jesus appearing to his disciples after his resurrection. I'm standing on the Mount of Beatitudes or the Mount of Blessings. There's been a fire recently that burned up a lot of the vegetation around the church here. Uh, but I also wanted to mention that geographically, one of the cool things here is that we are at this location, even though we are on the Mount of Beatitudes, we are below sea level. So we're actually lower than the Port of Haifa where we left this morning. Um, so if we were down at the Sea of Galilee, we'd be even lower. And when we go to the Dead Sea in a couple of days, we're actually gonna be even lower than that. So pretty cool to be below sea level, yet still on a mountain. So now we are at Tabga and the Church of Multiplication. And no, this has nothing to do with mathematics. This is believed to be the location where Jesus fed the 5,000 with just a couple loaves of bread and a fish or two. Inside of the church there at the altar, or just under the altar, is actually a rock, and they believe that is the rock where Jesus would have sat to distribute the it was five loaves and two fishes. We're now in Capernaum. This is built as the town of Jesus, but it was actually the home of Peter, the disciple of Jesus. So Jesus was just a frequent visitor, and you can see right here on the Sea of Galilee, which is right here behind me.
this is it. We're at the edge of the Sea of Galilee. And the Jordan River would start right over there. Uh, but you can see all the way across. Uh, it's more like a lake, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can see the mountains on both sides. You can see the land on the other side as well. But it's beautiful here. Now here at the final stop of the day, you can see behind me here the Jordan River, the baptismal place, the exact location, they believe, where Jesus was baptized by his second cousin, John the Baptist. It would have been right down here. You can actually see folks uh, dressed in robes. They actually come down here to be baptized. There's a gift shop here. They actually rent robes and they sell robes, and folks can come down and be baptized in the waters of the Jordan River. So a little bit of geography right there, about the center of the screen, you can see a dam. And that dam is actually the barrier between the Sea of Galilee, which we were out on earlier, and the Jordan River. So the Jordan River and the Sea of Galilee meet right about there. And that actually controls the level of the water here in the Jordan River. And you can see folks now going down into the water to be baptized. And that's going to do it for our time here in the port of Haifa and in northern Israel, the homeland of Jesus, uh, seeing a lot of these sites here in northern Israel. Tomorrow we're going to be down in Jerusalem and we're going to visit Jerusalem and also Bethlehem. So I invite you to please go down below, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And from northern Israel, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.